the NHL regular season is coming to an end, which means the playoffs are right around the corner, the most exciting time of the year. But there's been some players who have had unreal seasons that no one has been talking about. So today we're going to go through a couple of the players on that list who have had incredible regular seasons. Let's start it off. The first addition to this list is none other than Connor McDavid's teammate. You can go with Connor McDavid. He has 146 points at this point in the season. Remember, the season is not over, but I'm going with his teammate, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. The former first overall pick is having an incredible season, a breakout season. He was good before, but this year he's really taken his game to the next level at 29 years old. As you can see, there it is in 77 games games played this year he has 97 points plus eight I will say though 50 power play points obviously that's going to help out his totals but nonetheless he is looking to be a hundred point player for the first time in his career which is absolutely incredible coming off a five point game against Vegas who's a pretty good team so if Edmonton's ever going to win a cup they can't just rely on Connor McDavid Leon Dreisaitl Players like Ryan Nugent Hopkins are really going to have to step up and, and dominate, right? Look at his career, 625 points in 796 games. But if we look at his career from last year, 50 points last year in 63 games, which is a good season. 35 is not terrible. 61, just hovering around the point per game that year. Uh, but this year, 97 points. Like that is by far a career year before heading into this season. The record was 69 points set back in 2018, 2019, but 97 points. He's also a plus eight. He's a really good penalty killer for this team. And he's just all around an absolute beauty, but no awards. But this year, definitely wanted to highlight Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He's always going to be overshadowed by his teammates, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. But I think this year he's really coming into his own and he deserves to be recognized for the incredible season he's having. The next player I got to highlight on this list is none other than one of the most pesky players in the entire NHL, Matt Tuchuk. And He's a little bit different from the rest of these players because he already was a superstar coming into this year. Last year, finishing with 100 points, but all eyes were on Matt to Chuck when the massive blockbuster trade went down in the offseason. To Chuck for Huberto, one for one. And Huberto this year is not having a great season. In 74 games, Huberto has. 52 points so coming off a year where he had 120 following up with he's probably going to finish around 55 to 60 points but Matt to Chuck has not missed the step the 25 year old 102 points in 74 games and honestly he has been kind of the backbone of this team in their playoff run they haven't made the playoffs yet but they're 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 driving and Matt to Chuck is a huge reason so you can see hat trick there a couple bad games there but not even he's still plus one plus one plus three but Matt to Chuck has been an absolute beast a god darn beast for these Florida Panthers and as I said probably the best player on this list uh, coming off the 100 point season but it shows that this wasn't a fluke even coming to a brand new team he looks like he's gonna hit the 40 goal mark once again break his point record again not the the most underrated player in the league but I don't think anyone's been talking about Matt to Chuck and, and the season he's been having for the Florida Panthers first time as a young guy already has the assistant captaincy and looking to lead his team to the Stanley Cup playoffs Matt to Chuck is my number two entry in here and one thing to note, this is not by one, two, three, four, five, which is the best. I just kind of have a list of people that, that came to mind first, and he was the second one. Next up on my list, I got the super Swede, Elias, or Elias Peterson, or Peterson, however you want to say it. But Peterson, Peterson, the Beasterson has been really good for the Vancouver Canucks. Coming off a year last year where I wouldn't say he was bad, but it was subpar, below expectations. But this year, he's really stepped up. The 24-year-old, 96 points in 74 games. Looks like he's going to get to that 100 point mark, which is really cool for all the Vancouver fans out there. We know that this is this is the heart and soul of your offense, especially when you trade away Bo Horvat. We were wondering if Pedersen would still be producing. And as advertised, he has been really good, almost sitting at a point per game in his career now. And the big thing is Vancouver is a team that has a losing record, is not very good, will not make the Stanley Cup playoffs this year. And he is a plus 14. 
And the other thing is only 24 power play points. So he has the same amount of stats as Ryan Nugent Hawkins, but half the power play points, which is really good. He also plays penalty kill where he has four shorthanded goals, eight shorthanded points. So he kind of does everything for this team. He really just keeps going. But let's go take a look at his stats and you can see the jump. Last year, I said it was kind of a bad year. Really, it's a good year. 70 points essentially in 80 games, a 30 goal score. But this year, potentially going to get to 40 goals, 100 points. I mean... For a team that isn't that great, like a plus 14, he hasn't been a minus seven in his career, so obviously a pretty good defensive player as well. But we have to shout out Peterson, even though he's not going to make the Stanley Cup playoffs. On my list, I believe I only have one other team, maybe two, that won't make the Stanley Cup playoffs, but obviously won the Calder Trophy back in 2018, 2019. The start of his career was incredible. Just under a point per game, point per game essentially, point per game essentially, a little bit of a fall off, and then absolutely skyrocketed in year number four, or five, sorry. But Elias Peterson is number three on my list of players that have absolutely dominated this year that no one's talking about. As a Sens fan, I couldn't leave an Ottawa Senator out of here, and I think this is well-deserved. I've been to probably 15 Sens games this year, and this player is consistently providing nothing but an offensive spark to the team, and has been playing penalty kill this year to really shape his game into to more of a two-way game rather than just being a goal scorer, and that's going to be Tim Stutzla, 21 years old, still really young, but 84 points in 73 games, having a breakout season, 171 points in 240 five games played I won't go too crazy into him but in 2020 third round pick or third overall pick if you ask me he's the best player from the draft and I'm gonna it might sound crazy but I think Jake Sanderson's number two in that draft he's probably even been better than Tim Stutzla sometimes but Tim Stutzla I mean coming off season 58 points minus 27 so that that's the big thing to me you know like last year in his second year 58 points that's respectable uh, but the minus 27, that that was not good. But coming to this year basically eliminates all those minuses. Minus four still, so still has some work to do in, in the defensive zone. Obviously, when you play at his kind of level, you're going to be turning the puck over a little bit more. So hopefully you can sure that up, get a little bit stronger. But potentially going to be a 40 goal score, 40 goal season for Stutzla and a 90 point season. So definitely had to highlight Tim Stutzla there and... Uh, I'm very excited to see him grow as a as an Ottawa Senator, locked up to an extension for eight years. So he's going to be around for a while. But Tim Stutzel, definitely a player that deserves this recognition. The next player I have on this list is a superstar. But honestly, until I saw his stats the other day, I did not know he was having anywhere close to this good of a season. Braden Point is going to score 50 goals, most likely, for the first time in his career. He's got 90 points to go with it. And I think part of the reason why I haven't heard or seen anything about this is Steven Stamkos is always great. Kucherov's a point getter. Vasilevsky's always stealing the show with his goaltending ability. And of course, you can never forget one of the best defensemen in the league, Victor Hedman. So I think Braden Point just kind of slides under the radar. But he is having an incredible season. 90 points, as mentioned. 48 goals. If we go look at his stats, like he, he's normally pretty good like 58 points 48 64 92 this was a big year for him 66 40 so kind of that outside this outlier of the 92 points he's been under a point per game he's been a good player but nothing special but this year he's really taken it to the next level with 50 goals if he gets there I'm, I'm hoping he does because you know you gotta hit that 50 goal plateau that 50 goal mark uh but Braden Point doesn't really get talked about often and I think he's been an X factor for this team. I mean, looking at 48 goals, leading his team has more than Stamkos, more than Kucherov. Uh, so definitely a really good season from Braden Point. And really all he has is Stanley Cups to show for it. But if you're a player in the NHL, that's all you really want. But Braden Point, have to highlight him in here. I mentioned he's not really a bona fide superstar, but I think he is super underrated for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Next two players I have are the two defensemen who've impressed me the most this year and I'm not going to include Eric Carlson because I expect things like that from Eric Carlson especially with the money he's making people like Victor Hedman Adam Fox Roman Yossi all these players you expect these things but the first one on this list from the Florida Panthers Brandon Montour 28 years old and his season is incredible if you weren't a Florida fan there's no way you would have seen this coming he has 65 points in 75 games with 101 penalty minutes so he's a little bit feisty out there which you love to see but the cool thing is, let's go take a look at his stats. Six points, 32 points, 25 points, 10 points, 18 points, 14, 4, 
37 and then out of nowhere 65 he can potentially get to 70 points this year where whoever thought Brandon Montour is getting a 70 point defenseman looks to be a plus player is also doubling his penalty minutes so uh, it does matter that he is getting more ice time most likely uh playing on a team like florida where they are pretty high scoring they have players like to chuck as mentioned earlier they got barkov i mean so many good pieces on that team uh he's probably playing with ekblad a lot of the time the only thing is a minus or a plus eight it's good, but we need that more, especially if you're playing the top top uh, minutes. But Brandon Montour, honestly, been one of the most surprising players in the entire NHL for me. Um, drafted in the second round of 2014, 55th overall. I mean, this guy's been a stud. That's going to be the first defenseman. I don't go. I don't want to go too crazy into it. I mean, you get it, Brandon Montour, a beauty. But let's go to the last player on this list, and he is for the Winnipeg Jets. Last player on this list, we have the defenseman for the Winnipeg Jets, Mr. Josh Morrissey. I see Joel. Is that Joel Ward? I remember he was on Washington, my brother's favorite team. That was uh, that guy was a beauty in the playoffs. But Josh Morrissey, let's talk a little bit about him. 28 years old, always known to be an offensive defenseman. But there it is. Look at those stats. 71 points in 74 games. I was also very torn to put Rasmus Dahlin in here. But I feel like everyone kind of expects that. It's It, it makes sense. He's a first round, first overall pick. Uh, it was only a matter of time before he kind of jumped into that that role of being an absolute stud. But Morrissey drafted back in 2013, 13th overall. Just look at his stats. Let's go quickly. He always had about 30 points. You know, 20 points in his rookie. It makes sense. 26 the next year. Every year getting just a little bit better, a little bit better. But last year, played 79 games and had 37 points. So, yeah, that's a good season for Josh Morrissey. This year, he has completely wiped that out, doubling his point total almost, and I'm sure by the end of the year, he might double it. He just got to get to 74, so three more points. I mean, where, where do I start? I mean, Winnipeg fans, tell me, is he this good? Because anyone, any defenseman having a point per game is pretty impressive. 27 power play points, is it's a fair amount, but again, it's nothing crazy. Like, he still has almost 50 even strength points, 40 even strength points. And he is, he's a candidate for the Norris Trophy this year. So you have to throw Josh Morrissey in this list because if you were looking at this in the beginning of the season, there is no chance someone's like, oh yeah, Josh Morrissey might win the Norris Trophy or Josh Norris is going to get votes for the Norris Trophy. Eric Carlson will win it, unfortunately, so he has no, no chance of getting it. But you have to highlight Josh Morrissey. But those are my seven most underrated players in the NHL this year, having career years in the regular season. Hopefully for the players making the playoffs, they can continue this and dominate in the playoffs as well. Let me know who you think is going to win the Stanley Cup this year. I got the Edmonton Oilers. So Ryan Nugent Hopkins, we need you to clutch up here. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Oh, before I end it, let me know what you want to see next. And have a great day. I'll see you at the top.